thank you very much for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about some basic accounts receivable processing in Acumatica. Let's take a look at our agenda. So the first thing we're going to do is just look at a couple of settings in customer maintenance that affect invoice processing. Then we're going to enter and release an invoice, print the invoice, and take a look at how the status of the invoice changes as we go through the process. Then we'll show you how to pay an invoice and also look at the status changes and how you can drill into the payment details and into the invoice details. And then lastly, we're going to look at how you can process multiple documents at a time. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is review customer maintenance and take a look at a couple of settings. So here we are in Acumatica. We're in the receivables space. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the profiles for customers. And that's, that'll give us a list of customers. We're just going to take a look at this first customer. So all we really want to look at here is if we go to the financial tab, you'll see that the terms for this particular customer is 30 days, so net 30 days. So this is where we control the terms. So when we create an invoice, it'll pull those terms in. And also, if we look at the payment settings, you can control what payment settings are allowed to be processed for the customer. As you can see, all of our payment settings are active for this particular customer, but check is the default payment method. The next thing we're going to do is enter an invoice. So back in Acumatica, I'm going to go to the transactions section and choose the new for invoice and memos. Now you could choose new here, you could click the tile for new invoice if you have a tile, or you can open up all of the invoice and memos and click the plus button to create a new record, but I'm just going to do it this way. So as we enter the invoice, the type defaults to invoice and you can see there are other types and we'll just select our customer. Notice it did pull in the terms and calculated the due date accordingly. We'll put a description in. And then we'll go to the line detail and add a row. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip the inventory ID just for the sake of this discussion and go straight to the transaction description and put in a description. And an amount. Now it did pull in a default general ledger account from customer setting as well. Now notice when we enter this invoice, its status is on hold. This comes from a preference setting in accounts receivable where we've said to place all documents on hold upon creation. If that setting wasn't checked, then this document would not be on hold. But because it is, we have to remove the hold before we can release it. So there are a couple of ways we could do that. We could just push the button now, or we could save it and then push the button for remove hold. I'm just gonna push the button. And now notice that the invoice status is balanced. To be able to update or release an invoice, the status must be balanced. So let's go ahead and release this. So once again, you'll see that the status has changed. Now the status is open. The next thing we're going to do is print the invoice. So back on our invoice screen, our invoice is open and we can just go to actions and choose print. Now we'll get our printed copy of the invoice. Now this is just the standard Acumatica form, hasn't been modified, but understand that this form can be modified to fit your needs using the Acumatica report designer. So now that we've printed the invoice, we're going to go ahead and apply a payment to the invoice. We'll show you how to do that for the individual invoice. So once again, we're back at the invoice, we're just looking at it. And let's just say that we've received a payment against this invoice and we just wanna pay it. So we push the pay button. And that will transfer us to the payment and application screen where we can see the information about this payment. So you can see that we're paying the $1,500 and once again, the status is on hold. So we're gonna remove the hold, which changes the status of the payment to balanced, and then we're going to go ahead and release. 
and now this payment has been closed. But now that the payment has been done, we can look at some historical information here. So first of all, we can go to application history and we can see what invoice or invoice is this payment is paid and we can drill into the invoice. So we'll go ahead and click on the reference number here and drill back to the invoice. And now you can see the status of the invoice has changed to closed because it has been paid, it's no longer open. And we can see all the details of the invoice. The other thing we can do is look at the financial details and we can drill into the general ledger batch and see the general ledger posting that occurred from this payment. So as you can see from this payment, we received the money, so we debited our checking account and we credited accounts receivable. So now what we're going to take a look at is how to process multiple documents. What I've shown you so far is how to enter a single invoice and then do a payment against that invoice. Enter the single invoice, release the invoice, and then do the payments. But the reality is you may want to enter multiple invoices and release them all at once. And you may receive a payment that needs to pay multiple invoices as well. So we're going to go through that process. So here we are back in the accounts receivable space in Acumatica, and I'm going to go to the processes section and click on release AR documents. And what this is going to do is find accounts receivable documents that have not been released, but are in balanced status. So if they're on hold, they're not going to show up here. So as you can see here in this example, I have three invoices. And if I want to release all of them, I could just click the release all button. If I want to release any number of them other than all, I could just click the checkbox there for the ones I wish to release or click that one as well. So let's go ahead and release them all. And they all processed. You can click on this tile and drill back into the invoices as well from here to get a record of which ones were released, but we'll just close that. And now there are no more ones to be released. So the box is empty. Now let's go back to our receivable screen and talk about receiving a payment that would pay multiple invoices. So I'm gonna to go to payments and applications and we're gonna create a new payment. And it's gonna be a payment and we're gonna select the customer. And as you can see here, there are a couple of invoices that are open. And I'm gonna go ahead and just type in the payment amount here. And go ahead and fill in the payment amount for each invoice. So the amount received and fix my error here. Now notice I've mistyped the number here, so I'm just gonna refresh that. So the payment amount has to equal to the amount that's been applied to be in balance. So as you can see here, if you do the payment application, select your customer or any other criteria, it'll just automatically populate with the invoices that match that criteria. And now that we've done that, we can of course remove the hold, which puts it into a balance state, and then we could release it. Now, if I just save this in the balance and I go back to release AR documents, that's going to show up as well because it's in a balance status and I can release multiple of them here. So once again, we'll just release all. So to recap, we reviewed some settings and customer maintenance that affect how invoices are processed, particularly terms codes. We entered a single invoice, took it off hold, and then released it. We printed the invoice. We took a look at how the status changes from hold to balanced to open to closed once it's been paid. We paid the invoice and looked at how the status changed to closed. And then we drilled into the payment information to see what invoices were being paid and what the general ledger posting from that was. And we also were able to drill back into the original document or the invoice and looked at its details as well. And then lastly, we took a look at how to release multiple documents at a time and to do a payment that pays multiple invoices. Please like, share, and subscribe to our LinkedIn channel. 
You can also contact us at NIMS and Associates at ERP at NIMSAssociates.com or call the number on your screen. And thank you very much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time and attention.